Mark Cuban says gold is useless. As you know, Mark Cuban said, if you buy gold, you are dumb as fuck. But you know, he has bet on gold. In my last video, I talked about why they don't want you to buy gold and silver. In today's video, I want to show you that they say and do what works for them. So we can't listen to the noise. All right, let's get into it. Hi, and thank you for joining me here at Cash and Coins. I hope you are doing well. And yes, you can call me Cash. I've been buying silver and gold for a while, and I see that billionaires and millionaires, financial advisors, they flip flop on what they say all the time. And in today's video, I want to show you how Mark Cuban doesn't practice what he preaches. And that's okay. We do what's best for us, just as they do what's best for them. So first, I'm going to show you the article where he was talking to Bill Maher. You've probably seen this part already. And he said, if you have gold, you are as dumb as punk, as I said earlier. <laughs> but did you know in 2016, Mark Cuban bet on gold? And this is the article here on CNBC. Billionaire Mark Cuban admitted Thursday that the wild market movements have left him confused, but he has placed a bet on gold. Just as Warren Buffett said, don't buy precious metals, and this proves the point. If they tell you to do something, do the opposite. Because when it's to their advantage, they will do it. Now, I do want to be fair and present both sides because there are some billionaires like Ray Dalio who recommend buying gold and the Rothschild family. I know you've heard of them and many others who invest in gold. The one thing that we have to remember is that gold and silver have been money for centuries. That goes without saying. Central banks around the world are buying up gold. That goes without saying. And that should tell you something. No, I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not telling you what to do. Always do your own research. But know that gold and silver have a proven track history as an asset and I can't predict the future, but I do want to say that history does repeat itself. I know I'm going to continue to buy silver and gold. I see the value in these assets. I think that silver and gold stackers know just a little bit more than the general population. I actually did a poll. I can show you that here. As we know, our school system, they don't really teach us how to gain or attain wealth. If you want wealth, you have to research it for yourself. You have to do what's going to work best for you in your current situation. As I always say, diversify. Don't put all your money into one thing. But many times, silver and gold have beat the stock market. And of course, depending on what time frame you look at in the market, you can make it seem like gold and silver are either making you money or making you lose money. So be careful when people throw out statistics on silver and gold or anything that has to do with the market, we all know that everyone has an agenda. I do call gold and silver as an investment. I know some people argue, me, argue with me about that, but that's okay. But I call it an investment because it falls in a certain category. It is an asset that has held its value for thousands of years. It's easy to look at the negative sides of gold and silver. Like for example, uh, they don't earn interest. They don't produce anything. They just sit there. Or we can look at the positive side and we can see it as an asset. We can see that it holds its value. We can see that it's highly liquid. We can see that it's sold and or traded minute by minute across the globe. And I'm not saying that every country, every city, every state sells it or trades it. But I know here in the United States and in many other countries around the world, you definitely can. I know that in a time of crisis, many have even used silver and gold as money, as a valuable asset to get them what they need or to get them where they needed to go. Now, all the central banks in the world aren't holding it just to hold it. They got to know something. They got to know the value of gold. They definitely understand the value. But remember, whenever you invest in gold, you can't turn away from silver. Silver is being used in so many industrial applications. It not only holds itself as a precious metal, you know, looking pretty, being used as jewelry, a massive part of numismatic coins, but it's used in industry. It's used in healthcare. 
And it's used in these fields way more, much, much more than gold, more than platinum, more than palladium. Yes, silver dominates when it comes to that. Now, gold and silver, they do have their own roles. So gold does what it does and silver does what it does. I think both of these metals are undervalued. You don't have to look too deep and you can see that precious metals are long standing assets. Please let me know in the comments, do you listen to the advice that millionaires and billionaires give you? Or do you buy gold and silver based on your own reasons, from your own research, from your own understanding of these precious metals? Now, if you got anything out of this video, please make sure you hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, uh, it'd be great if you did. If you are a subscriber, thanks for coming back to watch. You're always welcome. I do want to thank you for watching Cash and Coins, and as I always, always say, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next video.